Hello, my loves. Good morning. Oops, six of cups already. I am so sorry that I missed y'all yesterday. Um, yesterday was kind of chaotic, and I had a little bit of a personal meltdown. So, um, that shuffle was not great. Uh, just a reminder to yourselves to show yourself grace. Like, it's important. Sometimes you gotta just have the meltdown. You just gotta embrace the meltdown and just roll with it and say, this is what's gonna happen, you know? Um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a week. I now have a sick kid at home too. Um, so I figure, why not go on the internet and do a tarot code poll for you guys. Why not? So, let's find out what the universe would like to say. Especially for you, Brad. Especially for you. I mean, like, you're not actually watching this, right? Like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Poor Brad's. Um, okay, so let me just cut the deck a few times. Sweet. Okay. Spirit, thank you so much for all of the good that you have given to us. Thank you for all of the blessings you continue to bestow upon us. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this incredible life. What message needs delivered to my followers today? What message needs delivered? We've got two of them that came out today. We got a twofer. Making up for, these are good, making up for yesterday. So we have Queen of Cups and the Wheel. Um, beautiful cards, beautiful cards. Some of my favorite cards in the entire deck, to be honest with you. Uh, Queen of Cups. Let's start with her. She came out first. So, the Queen of Cups. Extremely intuitive, a highly attuned emotional intelligence, love and compassion, sensitivity, strength, empathy, leading with your heart, and healing. Control. Uh, <clears throat> the Queen of Cups is one of the most intuitive characters in the tarot, floating in her dreamlike state of spiritual connection. She asks you how well your emotions have been serving you lately and reminds you that you have the ability to connect on a much deeper level. Feel and accept your emotional intuition. Listen closely as a way to understand what is truly going on and ensure that people feel heard when you communicate with them. Devote time to their emotional cues and see the divine beauty in all of life's experiences. Remember, it takes both sun and shadow to make the ocean floor sparkle. That line gets me every time I read this. It takes both sun and shadow to make the ocean floor sparkle. In shadow, it's not in shadow, so we don't have to read that part. If you feel any insecurities around openly connecting with others, grow into a better partner by vulnerability, which is sharing your vulnerably sharing your own tender heart. My goodness. Your affirmation is my intuitive heart openly expresses deep love. And now the wheel. The wheel. Changes, fate, destiny, a lucky break, cycling up through karmic lessons, the chaos of creation, a turning point, serendipity. Get ready, sweet soul, for the wheel is about to gift you divine blessings. Synchronicity is afoot, so look for wonderful new opportunities to propel your life forward. Be prepared for fortuitous meetings or a fork in the path that will change everything for the better. If you're open to spotting opportunity, it's yours for the taking. Just follow the breadcrumbs of serendipity and fate <laughs> toward your happy ending. Um, my cat just got involved, so I don't know if you have a pet, but that could be symbolic. Remember that the wheel is always spinning and that things are never the same as they were before. Learn to enjoy the constant regeneration and know that with every spin, we have the chance to cycle upward toward our own expansion and enlightenment. Trying to control the outcome of the wheel of fortune would prove to be impossible, so don't. Grab your lucky dice and see the spinning of the wheel for what it really is. All the beauty of a lifetime of experiences waiting to spring forth to be forward, to be lived. Your affirmation is, I allow the transformative energies of fate to help me expand my experience. So there you have it. Much love and light. 444 on the clock. Love you.